Let's add a sniper in here. Let's make it look fantastic. Let's make it the 50 cal. Now the skin itself is pretty basic, but something hilarious that someone pointed out to me, you can see the studio in the reflection up here. You can see where they got and they actually took this photo and you can change the color of kind of the text scrolling across it. So you can get this yellow one uh, and then you could also get this one, which I think is the best is the purple one. All right, and welcome back guys. This is a video a few people have requested me to make. Last season, I actually did a full battle pass review for season four and I rated that the best battle pass we've ever seen in Call of Duty. And I still stand by that statement. We're gonna see today whether season five's battle pass can beat that. And I'm usually pretty stingy with this kind of stuff. In Modern Warfare 2019, there was one battle pass that I thought was worth buying. And if we're being honest, in Cold War, the only battle pass so far out of all of them that I thought's been worth buying was the season four battle pass one, two, and three. I really didn't think there was much value in that, but we're gonna go over the entire thing today. I, of course, actually bought all the battle passes for Cold War because I make content on this stuff, so it makes sense for me to get it. But if I wasn't making content on this, like I said, last season would have been the first one I would have bought. So we're gonna go over, rate everything. The first thing you get is the brand new operator, the hacker skin for it. This skin is actually pretty good and I like it quite a bit. I did use it when the season first came out, but I'm not gonna lie, I've already moved on past it. It, it wouldn't be a reason to get the battle pass for me. Uh, tier, or I, I guess these are all instant rewards. These aren't really tiers. We also get the rebel leader skin and never gonna use this. We get a watch. I mean, my opinions on watches, they're cool, but we've already gotten quite a few watches and I guarantee you this will be an item that I will never use. Moving on to the actual first item in the battle pass, we have the red dragon sticker. I like this and if I ever put a red camo on my weapon, maybe I'll match the sticker with it. I do like stickers over emblems because you can put them on guns where you can only one one emblem at a time. We get a sentry drone calling card. We're gonna skip over all of the weapon XP. There's no reason to talk about the weapon XP you get. Uh, flowing fish, it's a cool looking charm, but never gonna use it. Tier five is when we actually get to our first really cool looking item, and this is almost kind of worth it. This looks like the type of skin that you would get in a lot of the bundles here, and uh, you actually get to see the dragon up here in the front when you ADS with it. It looks really good with DM Ultra. Uh, Dark Aether, not so much. I'm probably gonna actually end up putting this in the thumbnail so you can see it there, but this is an absolutely fantastic weapon that you get. You do have to have the premium battle pass, but you get it so early on, and the FAR, this season after the buff is really, really good in zombies, so it might be worth it. Uh, and then the next thing we get is a Smoke Flare Dirt Bike skin. Probably never gonna use that. We get a, what is this, an emblem, never gonna use that. The Payback, uh, we're gonna skip over that. Another sticker, not really worth it. Then we get into Reticles, which let's be honest here, I don't think I have ever used a single reticle ever from a battle pass. I've never used any of them, so we're just gonna skip over that. This is cool. I like the fact that they're adding more and more gestures. Here at tier 16, you get the chef's kiss, and uh, that's a really nice one, and I feel like that's gonna be used quite a bit in game. I do like the gestures we get, so that's gonna be nice. We get the tea time magnum. This is another fantastic blueprint. There's not a lot of magnum blueprints in the game that are very good, and this is one of the ones that are actually stand out really good. Once again, Magnum, another weapon that is absolutely fantastic to use in zombies. So this is kind of a decent value for zombie players already. We get the FFAR and we get the tea time. We get the mind games execution. Kind of cool, but uh, it doesn't beat the zombie visionary skin. We get the battle bronze X and four skin, but yeah, I'm never going to use that pretty basic. Uh, this is our first free blueprint in the whole thing. You get the blue steed, uh, Hauer shotgun. I mean, it's pretty slick, but uh, last season we got a really cool Hauer shotgun that had stickers on it and had a chain on the bottom. And that one was definitely better. We get a boat skin. Oh, here, this is the toad nugget. This is actually kind of the same thing. There was a bundle that cost $24 that came with kind of the same texture on it, came with the FFAR, and I think it came for the KSP as well. But now you can get one in the battle pass for the Bullfrog. And this texture right here looks fantastic with Pack-A-Punch camos. You put DM Ultra on this and uh, it works really well with that. So that's a nice thing to have. Another reticle. We get the Tracker Operator skin. Uh, obviously, we get the free weapons, but everyone gets those. Uh, we get another We get Smoke Signals calling card. We get a Progressor Watch. Ooh, the Prompt Input. I haven't seen this yet for the RPD. Kind of looks cool, but... um. I don't know, without any sort of engravings, when you put a camo on this, it's gonna, actually it says line, code, run, uh, CMD, input, raw data. Kinda cool. I, I will never use that though for being real. Oh, we get another uh, gesture here, the knuckle crack. All right, 
I like that. I could see myself, you know, X filling in zombies. And as soon as we finish the X fill or every time we finish around, this one's completely free. Don't even have to buy the battle pass to get that one. Then we've got the flash tattoo for the QZB. That one's sick. That is a very clean looking variant. I really like it. Anything with like red or light blue stand out really well in game. So that's going to be a nice one. We get a tank skin, which we're able to use tanks in zombies now. So that's going to be cool for that. And it's completely free. Don't have to even pay for that one. The strike team operator. And eh. then we have the silent reel for the Milano. I love the way this looks. Look at how it covers that suppressor too. This is a beautiful variant, covers the entire gun. Probably gonna be ruined if you put any sort of camos on it, but this is just a nice blueprint to wear without any camos. We get a no mercy emblem here. We get the typewriter variant, and this looks pretty clean. I wonder when you put mastery camos on if you're gonna see any of the redder stuff here, but this is another clean blueprint here. More reticles, um, another calling card, another, I, I mean, scuba diver, it's kind of cool, but we'll never run that. Oh, we get the death touch blueprint for the brand new assault rifle and i mean it's the same thing it looks just like the default one but kind of the parts that were wooden have now been blacked out so that's cool the hammerhead emblem don't really care i love this weapon charm here the mixed feelings weapon charm this to me is one of the weapon charms that i'll actually end up using and i i freaking like this so this to me almost makes it worth it we get the red torpedo this is completely free so don't even have to worry about buying the battle pass looks nice but i think the qzb shark we got last season was a little bit better the flyby sticker uh, the Tropic Punch, and this is for the new Tech 9. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very flashy there. The Drastic Operator Skin. All right, not going to use it. Going to be real here. Uh, another reticle, uh, another watch, uh, another calling card. I'm super excited about this. There are not a lot of good Street Sweeper variants in the game. I don't even own one right now. This looks super cool. It's got engravings on the side. So more than likely, when you put DM Ultra, Dark Aether, and Pack a Bunch camos on this bad boy, it's going to look fantastic. So for zombie players, I'm glad we haven't used this. I know I haven't used this Street Sweeper in a while, but I got a video that I have coming up that I'm planning on using this in. So uh, we're going to wait till we unlock that. We got to grind all the way to tier 65 first to be able to get that. Then we've got, you know, another emblem here. Uh, what is this? A weapon accessory? A okay, that pretty basic. Don't really care about that. Then we've got the Observer Operator skin. All right, that's uh, that's not too bad. We've got the Low Rider groza i don't know this this honestly looks like one of the ones that were in the bundle just a dumbed down version of it uh then we've got another mixtape we're not gonna play those we've got another sticker here oh the noble knight 50 cal why does every single battle pass have a really good looking 50 cal blueprint i don't know why but i think every blueprint we've ever had for cold where they've been like you know what let's add a sniper in here let's make it look fantastic let's make it the 50 cal because every season, last season we got another one that was really good for this. But uh, yeah, this looks fantastic. This is probably going to look so beautiful with DM Ultra on it and Dark Aether. Because I guarantee you'll be able to see a lot of those engravings. So I'm excited to get this. Uh, I just wish they would show a little bit of love for more snipers. Like give us some Swiss variants or any anything like that. Uh, we've got another calling card here. Another emblem. Another operator skin. This is the Scout one. And uh, pretty basic there. Ooh, a free Damati. So this is another one you get completely free. Don't even have to buy the battle pass for it. And I mean, it's got a lot of engravings here. So you'll probably be able to see this with DM Ultra. So if you're looking for something that looks good with camos on it, this is probably going to be one of those blueprints. Next, we have the Power Cell Charm. And this one says glow up with the Power Cell Charm. So I wonder if this is actually a reactive skin. We're not going to tell till we get to this point in the battle pass. But uh, if this is another animated one, then I'm going to be very happy. And it's going to look sick in zombies. Can you imagine taking this underground on Mauer to Toe and seeing that light up? Uh, we've got the Death Angel for the DMR here. Looks super cool. Um, really not my style, though, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to like that one. We've got the Mouthful Sticker here. We've got the Sharp Edges Reticle. This, I saw this earlier. I am super excited about this. You guys know we like melee weapons here. Unfortunately, it's it's for the knife, and this is one of the coolest blueprints we have seen for a melee weapon. I wish they do something like this for the E-Tool. Uh, yeah, so this is for the default knife, the combat knife. But, dude, that is going to look so sick with DM Ultra and Dark Aether and Pack-A-Punch camos. I don't know. I, I love the way that looks. 
Then we have the Falcon Wolf skin here. Now the skin itself is pretty basic, but something hilarious that someone pointed out to me, you can see the studio in the reflection up here. You can see where they got and they actually took this photo. This right here, you can see the lightings. You can, you can see the entire studio in the reflection of his stuff there. So it's a kind of cool skin just for that. That's probably the most memorable thing about it. So uh, I always love it when you find little mess ups and stuff like that. Past that, we get more COD points. Oh, this is an animated skin. All right, the corruption skin's kind of cool. It's got numbers too. All right, okay, I might act. Okay, I might actually run that. A lot of times we skip over calling cards, but that one's pretty freaking sick. Uh, another watch here, another mixtape. Now moving into the rare stuff. Always, you know, the last five or six tiers is where you get the actually really cool stuff. This might be my favorite thing in the entire battle pass right now. I love the aesthetic of this, and I, I want to know so badly how this looks like with Pack-A-Bunch camos and DM Ultra Dark Aether. This gun in Zombies is okay. It's a very mid-range AR. It's not that great, but uh, I still all the time use weapons that aren't that great in Zombies just to mix it up a little bit. So once we get that, we'll definitely even probably make a video on it, but uh, I, I love it. I love the little traced around edges, and I hopefully DM Ultra kind of covers all these middle areas, and you still see the tracing around it. That, I think, would be the best result for this. Uh, and then we've got the hacked console charm. Is there anything special about this? Uh, doesn't appear to be moving. But, uh, I mean, it, it looks okay. It's a pretty big charm. That is one of the bigger charms I've seen. Then we've got another emblem. I mean, it's cool, but uh, we're not going to rock that. Then we have what I think a lot of people are going to consider to be the best item in the game. And something I found out about this today that I didn't know is that if we go all the way back to the very beginning of the battle pass, there's actually missions for this operator and you can make this skin look better. So once you unlock this operator, you can do these missions and you can change the color of kind of the text scrolling across it. So you can get this yellow one uh, and then you could also get this one, which I think's the best is the purple one. I can't even see what these challenges are, but I guarantee you as soon as I unlock this character, I'm actually gonna go in here and do these operator missions to get this purple skin because that is freaking fantastic. And I haven't really heard anyone talk about that. I didn't even know that existed. I thought this right here was kind of the main look of the skin, but no, you can actually unlock challenges and change the color of this, which I think so cool. Then we've got the microchip tech nine. And I mean, this looks cool, but I, it looks a lot like the other tech nine variant early on. I mean, it, it's a slightly different, I guess it's a little bit more bright, but uh, I don't really care for this. And then we have the spoiled envy uh, skin for the vehicle here. And uh, if that lights up, it's going to be cool. But uh, really, that's it. And then obviously for the last item here, you get the animated emblem that is just the same emblem as the battle pass itself. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid battle pass. But uh, no, I don't think it's better than the one last season. I still think that season four for Cold War is the single best battle pass we've ever had in Call of Duty. Uh, this one's solid, and I would honestly potentially think about getting this myself if I wasn't making content for it, simply because right here, these reactive skins you get at the end are pretty cool. I like this a lot, and I like the fact that you can actually, you know, do challenges and change the color of it. And, uh, dude, something about this just looks so sick to me. There's also some other goodies here. There were a couple emblems and a couple other things that I, not emblems, there were a couple charms like the mixed feeling ones, and there was a couple other blueprints as well. So for me, it's a pretty solid choice. It just, it's not the best battle pass we've ever seen. So yeah, with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Definitely let me know, would you like me to make a video on this blueprint once we unlock it? We're about halfway through the battle pass. I don't really plan on buying any tiers. Uh, what, what tier are we at right now? If we go to the battle pass, we're currently at tier 55 and the battle pass has only been out for four days. So obviously it would be kind of a waste of money for me to buy tiers because give it three or four more days, we'll have it maxed out. So uh, that being said, if you guys want to make a video on this and potentially even the operator skin, once I unlock them, let me know. And let me know how you feel about this battle pass. Are you going to buy the battle pass? Do you think it's worth it? And uh, just stuff like that. And with that, I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who's became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member. And an extra special thanks to those who have taken it above and beyond. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce. Yum Master. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Cryptic. We've got my friend with the most stable PS5 ever, DX2069. We've got the DMCA claim waiting to happen, Snap On. We have the Etool Lawyer, You Don't Cross Hoss. And then the Absolute Boss, Hunter Redon Doe. All these people have taken a step above and became Unlock++ members on YouTube. Thank you so much, true homies.